Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Great to see all of you here. Manifestors. Our question today is, again, welcome. Find this channel. It's no mistake. It's no coincidence. It's a part of a play for you. All right. So here's a question we have today. Glad to see all of you joining in here on this live. All right. So, hello. Everybody's joining here. All you guys are here. Kevin, thank you, Kevin. Kevin, we got Kevin. Like the live, we got Tink. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Guys are popping in today. Great to see you. So what we're gonna talk about, guys, is spiritual nature of reality. And we're gonna tackle a, a pretty common question. And this should help you to set clear how things go. Hello from Texas, hey. Kevin's from Texas, hey Kevin. I'm glad to see all of you high manifestors here. So uh, let's, uh, let's jump into the question. Hey Mark, um, does quantum mechanics prove the law of attraction and manifestation? So that's today's question. Does quantum mechanics prove the law of attraction and manifestation? So I would like to throw it at you guys and see what you guys have to say about the subject. And then I'll go ahead and put my... Um, information in here to help you to see it from, from a di uh, different perspective but in short the answer is yes quantum mechanics shows the existence the proof of the law of attraction and it also proves manifestation and I'm going to explain it to you here now there is there's a there's also a lot of individuals that would say well you know the manifestation and the law of attraction are what you call pseudoscience. So pseudoscience or some science that is backed on uh, beliefs, no evidence, etc. So that's what they call pseudoscience. It's just something you believe and you can't prove it. You have no evidence of it, or it doesn't it doesn't work according according to the theory that the current science have uh, going on, right? So that's what we're going to talk about. And then we're going to talk about now how you're going to connect to your higher self in all this process as well. So quantum mechanics, does it prove the law of attraction and manifestation? Comment below. You let me know your thoughts. Do you know about quantum mechanics? All right, so let me show you how it works. So what quantum mechanics does, quantum mechanics shows us the backdrop of reality. It shows us how energy condenses into physical matter so that's what we call spiritual that's what we call manifestation right manifestation is bringing something from the non-physical correct into the physical so quantum mechanics in a nutshell it shows us the inner workings of that process so yes it indeed proves manifestation all right now what about the law of attraction does quantum mechanics show that as well Quantum mechanics shows the law of attraction as well. And here's what happened. The law of attraction, right, states that what you believe, you attract towards you, right? The law of attraction states that everything that you believe is possible, correct? It's out there somewhere. I'm just, is that correct? That's, would that be the law of attraction to you guys? Go ahead and comment. So, because I could show you this, so I could talk about how quantum mechanics and the law of attraction works. Okay. So, what is the law of attraction? Like attract, like law of assumption, the same way, right? Uh, the Neville, yes, Neville Goddard taught the law of assumption. Neville Goddard is also a very great teacher, and he taught the law of assumption, which is the law of assumption is the same on the same level as the law of attraction. Laws, a law of assumption is basically what it says: assume it's yours, expect it. Law of attraction is more believe it and move into that state. So they're kind of on, on the same level. So now, does quantum mechanics prove the law of attraction? The answer again is yes. And here's how. Two with two things, two things it proves. With what we call quantum entanglement and quantum superposition. Okay? 
Does anyone know what quantum entanglement is and quantum superposition and how it relates to the law of attraction? Okay, does anyone know, want to know what quantum, okay, so here's basically what, what it is. In quantum, in quantum mechanics, it says that before anything comes into a physical existence, it has to become a wave. A wave of all possible or probable outcomes must exist before someone collapses it and becomes a physical experience. I mean, what does that sound like to me? Hmm, that sounds like what you would call the law of attraction, right? That, oh, if I believe something, it's possible. That's what your belief is. Your belief is all different objective, different subjective views of something that's possible. So that's what quantum superposition says, that everything is possible until one observes it. So it, do, it, so it definitely means that our imaginations and thoughts are in wave form. Then let's go back again. Quantum mechanics shows us that how energy vibrates and becomes matter. Quantum mechanics shows us that there is no such thing as physical structures. It's an illusion. So that means even your thoughts are energy. They carry resonance, they carry frequency, they carry vibration. They carry the ability to form from a superposition state into a physical object. Okay, so that's the law of attraction. Now let's go into the, the quantum entanglement part of that now. So quantum entanglement says that everything that you desire or want is not separated from you. The law of attraction says that if you believe it, achieve it, it's already yours. The law of assumption says if you expect it, it's already yours. Expect it. That goes into quantum entanglement. That information cannot be separate from information. So there are some people that will make the comment and say, oh, that's pseudoscience, da 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 da. Well, this video will give them an objective to show them to think and consider, well, wait, maybe a minute, there's something that's going on here, right? And uh, for individuals who practice the awareness or manifesting, for you guys who practice this, to you, you know this is real because of your experience. Now we can go to quantum mechanics to show you this as well. Quantum mechanics also says that there is no objective reality. There is only a subjective world. So again, quantum mechanics says that in a nutshell. What is that, Mark? What does that mean? It means that each person have a version of their own truth. And according to that version of their truth, their body, their emotions, their imagination will create circumstances, events, to show them evidence and proof of their belief. So basically all of you have your own individual universe you live in. See how it works? You know, it's good, it's good when you have people in here. So got some of you comments. So there's, you know, someone comments in here and say, oh, that's a bunch of BS. So I would love for this person to, ex to, to explain or put in the comments why it is. You know, most of these people that comment stuff, they don't even know how, they don't even know how their own mind works. They don't even know how the world works. It's, again, it goes into their belief. So who's this guy here? Dan Lee. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would love to hear Dan Dan's Lee perspective on this. Yes, as a man think it comes. So where is this guy Dan Lee, the NPC Dan? Well, I don't want to call I don't want to call him an NPC yet because uh, I am given I'm giving him a, an option to state his comment. Listen, if you're going to come in the comment section, you better be ready. You better you you ha, you better have objective science facts show me something tell me something to let me say okay you got a point just don't come in the comment section and say oh, dude, this doesn't make sense 
and you have no evidence and you don't even know how your mind works so where is this guy at still waiting for him okay he disappeared all right let's continue all right so how can you use the world of quantum mechanics how can it change your world how can it increase how can it increase your manifestation and how can you in other words someone asked me this question and I want to answer it I got I'm gonna the best way to answer it someone says to me mark that's all great reality is not real it's fake quantum mechanics I still have to go to my nine to five I still have to pay my bills I am still struggling mark what the heck do I get by learning this information, man? Because my boss is still calling me and I gotta go to work. I mean, tell me as an average person in layman's terms how I can use this technical whatever subject to make my life better, right? So this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you how you can use this advanced information and simply change your life so that if you don't want to work for somebody you don't have to work for somebody if you want to create your own way of life or income you can create your own way of income I'm going to show you right now how to do it in simple terms all right so here's how it begins yes I know a lot of you people say mark I'm still struggling whatever so here's what we're going to do once you understand, and I said, I'm saying to you now, this is what I'm telling you guys right now. I am saying to you that the world you're living in right now, according to quantum mechanics, it is not real the way you've been dis you've been taught to understand real. It's not that, okay? It is a transparent constantly changing world or reality the reason you cannot see the behind the scenes of the change is because the way your brain developed and processed information everything slows down to make it look solid to you so we have that part so far okay so we got that so now what can you do as an average person to chip that so what you want what you want to do now so now you understand okay this guy's telling me that okay the physical world i see is not really real all right next part so i don't like my job i want to change so how can i change my physical world here's the next part to changing your physical world now there is something that changes the physical world and you have it and you use it every day it is your imagination and your thought and your feelings. Let me recover. Thought, imagination, was the same thing. Feelings. Remember those three things, okay? Thought, imagination, and feeling, all right? So, you're asking me, well, how can this change my life to become a better person and get what I want to get? So, this is, I'm get, this is where I'm going right now. Go write it down if you don't. Okay, so write it down. My thinking, my imagination, whatever, and my feelings, okay? Now, here's what you do. If you don't like where you're at in your life, okay? Here's what you do. I'm gonna show you, this This will change everything for you. The first thing you're gonna do, that's good, that's somewhat good, the toilet right down, thoughts, imagine. The first thing you want to do now is you're going to go and think about what kind of life you would like to have in your, even in your current job where we at if you're at work think about what you would like to do or become at work okay so just think about it that's all you're gonna do for right now so okay I'll give an example if you're at your job or you're struggling you don't want to struggle correct so think about what it would look like not to struggle not to have financial hardship not to be stressed out uh, think about that now listen in order for this to work you got to know what you want so okay everybody knows this so it's, it's really easy to do we all 
We all know what we don't want and we all know what we do want. Are we clear on that? So we got that part down. So you're gonna think about what you want. That's number one. The next thing you're gonna do is this is this is how you this is you using quantum mechanics here now. I'll show you something now. The next thing you are going to do now, while you're thinking about that stuff, now you're gonna go ask yourself a question now. This is important. You're gonna ask yourself this question out loud softly. Here's a question you're gonna ask yourself. What would it look like? I'm gonna give you an example. What would it look like for me to have $500 in my bank account? This is an example if you're someone else, okay? After you ask that question, you're gonna follow up again with this question. How would it make me feel to have $500 in my bank account? We're using quantum mechanics because it's a question. Hey, Mark, this is very complicated stuff, but how is it going to affect the everyday person like me to change my world? So I'm just showing you that right now. So we're going to what? We're going to think about what is it that we want, and then we're going to follow it up with a question out loud by saying, you know, what would it look like? Just giving to have $500 in my bank account. How would it make me feel? Someone's asking me how to use numerology so I can win the lottery. I'll get to that in a second. Let me finish this up here. So when you ask the question and you do that, the next thing you're gonna do now is you're just gonna chill. You're just gonna relax now. And you're gonna do this daily. When you go to work every day or whatever it is, you're gonna do it every day, okay? Every day. So here's what's gonna to start to happen when you do this. The thought and the question are gonna to merge to become one. So the thought it's going to go into the subconscious mind. The question is going to go into the subconscious mind. For, I, I, it could be 10,000. Uh, someone asked me, why only 500? As I said, it's just an example. I could have easily said 1,000, 10,000. It doesn't matter. I'm just giving an example. I just use 500 as an example. So it could be a million. So the thought and the feeling. What happens now? When the thought touches the subconscious, the subconscious is gonna answer the question. The first thing you're gonna get is a feeling. So now you're gonna feel what it would what it would look like to have 500 bucks in your bank account, 5,000, 10 million, whatever it is, this is, okay? Or then you're gonna, there's a feeling that's gonna develop now. And this feeling is very powerful. What this feeling does now, this feeling is the wave form collapsing from a state of the superposition state in quantum mechanics. Because remember what quantum mechanics says, it says that matter at its base level is non-physical. It says everything is energy, and energy shows us the material world. So our feelings are energy, they're magnetic. So quantum mechanics says all this stuff, guys. That's what I say. So now the energy is magnetic. That energy has to draw in. That's what a magnet does is draw in, right? So the energy now will draw into it the matching energy of that. So what your subconscious does now, it says, okay, what would it look like for you to have $500? The only way it would, what it would look like for you to have $500 is what? For you to physically have $500. So, here, now we're gonna to go to quantum mechanics now. This is the magic. Now we're going to go in that we're going to go into a superposition again. So, when now you may be saying to yourself, "Yeah, man, but how am I going to get 500, man? Or a thousand? Or five, ten thousand? I'm only working 40 hours. I'm only making this stuff. How am I going to get this ten thousand, man? I'm going to show you how. But I can't show you how." Because the how, no one, we don't know. But I'm going to give you a, a, a clue or a step to how it could happen. Here's how it happens. In the world of quantum superposition, there exists a reality where you have the money. That's the law of quantum. It says everything exists in a wave of probabilities and possibilities. All reality exists. Every outcome of reality exists until 
it collapses and becomes a particle which is you observe as a physical thing so that's quantum mechanics says that there is a version there's you with 5,500 in the bank account already so what happens this is where the unconscious mind or the subconscious mind comes into factor the subconscious mind now goes out into the field selects from that reality where you already have the money knows the how transfers it back into this reality let's go into quantum mechanics now we're going to quantum entanglement now quantum entanglement says nothing is separate everything is entangled all information are shared they're not far over there so this proves entanglement that the reality is not far from you you're connected to it so your unconscious mind if you're connected to it, it can see all those types of reality what it does then goes into that reality where you got the 500 brings it over into this current reality where you're living and experiencing sends the information to your regular mind where you can either go get the 500 create an idea or it just you can do something even magical it can bring you people that will give you the 500 it can give you an idea to make the 500 it can give you is there is so much unlimited ways it can bring you what you want do you see how that works now so for the regular person that says well yeah reality i understand it's not real and i came out and da, 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 but now I'm, I'm an average joe how am i gonna now you know how to fix your struggle and then when if you repeat this daily it's going to get impressed you know what impressed means it's going to get stuck into your unconscious mind anything that gets stuck into your unconscious mind becomes a habit it becomes a pattern it becomes a belief and when something becomes a belief it becomes your actions and your way of life okay latoya says it works i visualize every day at 5 a.m that's great latoya are you seeing now how this works how long should you visualize you should visualize until you see the scene that you want to accomplish and then that's it and that's correct as Tina says you must basically live in the moment that you already have it now now let me show you an interesting thing what quantum mechanics also shows us guys quantum mechanics also shows us and tells us that time does not operate the way we taught we were taught it actually shows us that time is in the moment that everything is happening simultaneously they refer to it as the block universe everything is stacked upon each other as blocks of different locations so again in our head and our brains when we see the past and the future that is only an illusion created by our mind and if you think about it when are you thinking about the past and the future now so there can't be a past or a future there only can be now because if there was a past and a future you couldn't be thinking about it right now you'd be there now but in fact you're here now see how that works so it's I summed that up so easily right okay someone asked me the numerology to, to win the lottery okay all right number one is you don't need to use numerology to win the lottery okay uh, you win the lottery by the following steps by visualizing you as a winner by taking the action to purchase your ticket, by setting a budget, by acting or feeling what it would look like to win it, and by repeating that process. That's how you win the lottery. Now, your higher self controls this. Your higher self can give you numbers. Where you see in a dream, that's when you play the numbers. So you don't have to go out there and calculate numbers with numerology. Remember, quantum mechanics again says that you are creating this stuff you are collapsing it so all you have to do is see yourself as the winner see a ticket that says top prize and you can go and let the machine do a quick pick for you that's it okay 
Counter quantum mechanics has nothing about uh, consistently having one-off vision numbers. Can you tell me more about it? I don't understand that question. What do you mean? What is one-off uh, vision numbers? Are you referring to your numbers are one-off from winning every number? That quantum mechanics, that's quantum mechanics. Remember, every version of you exists. So that means when you're a one-off number, that number is already a winner somewhere else, right? So you're one-off. So here's what you do. When you get numbers that are one-off, um, someone asked me, do I get a commission from the lot? <laughs> no. Um, the, qu the thing is, when the numbers are one-off, you're tuning. That used to happen to me before I won. I used to get all, I used to get the five numbers and they were all one-off. So I realized I, were, I was tuning myself into the vibration or the frequency of that, the universe or that reality where I won. And I just kept playing it and one day they all lined up and I won. So that's what I believe that is. It's called tuning, where you're matching up with the frequency to get into it. And you do definitely want to use the affirmations to help you to get that. Can you set a time when you're going to achieve a goal when we are visualizing? Let's use quantum mechanics to talk about that again. So I'm going to show you quantum mechanics. So is it okay? Can you, can you set specific times to manifest something? Does it work? Is it advisable to do it? My answer is according to my experience and according to what I see in how the universe works and physics work and my subconscious work. My rule of thumb is I never set specific times to manifest stuff. So I don't say to myself, well, I'm going to manifest this in six months or in 30 days or in one week. I do not do that. Now, you can do that. But when you do that, you are not using your creative mind. You are using your logical, analytical, structural mind. You're using your ego. So many of us can go out there and we can use willpower and get something. See how it works? So what you want to do is let it go, see it in the present moment, and when you see it in the present moment, that's when it will appear for you. So when you manifest and your subconscious doesn't understand time, it only knows the moment. So if you're saying next year, next week, you're going to lose it. Just say consistently having it now, boom, you get it. Alright guys, that's all the time I have for today. I'll see you next time.